Hello there and welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigerians' leading initiative in the business of brand management and in the management of brand business. It is a 30 minutes potpourri of brand news, branding focus and industry conversation, all in a mix, encompassing, thorough and in-depth, all aimed at promoting the brand idea. I'm Ogali Mafu. It's insightful, it's exciting, it's enriching, it's Marketing Edge on TV, a half-hour TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Good to have you back. First on Marketing Edge on TV is Brand News, where we bring you latest developments and happenings around brands and in the field of marketing, advertising and communication in Nigeria and around the world. In pursuant of the statutory provisions of the code governing the National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria, NIMN, the Institute has concluded plans to hold its annual marketing conference, annual general meeting, as well as conduct a new election for new set of leaders for the governing council of the Institute. Disclosing this during a media party addressed by the president of NIMN, Tony Agemome said the yearly meet will focus on the theme SMEs in post-COVID-19 world. The Conference of Marketers will hold on the 27th May 2021 at 10 a.m. in Radisson Hotel Ikeja, Lagos. President of the Institute also announced that the election into different positions into the governing council will take place during the annual general meeting scheduled to hold on the 28th of May 2021, same venue. Positions that are open for contest are president and two council seats. Max 102.3 FM, the radio arm of TVC Communications, has announced plans to launch the biggest music concert in Nigeria. According to the organizers, the well-planned event is designed to reintroduce the world to the normalcy of pure entertainment through live performance of Nigerians' topmost artists in the entertainment industry. In a statement, TVC Communications CEO Mr. Andrew Hanlon said the event will be a demonstration of how media companies should engage in advertising partnerships around entertainment events while establishing deeper connection with their brands. Recall that Nigerians' leading independent broadcasting company TVC Communications, owners of TVC, TVC News, Max FM Lagos and Abuja and Adaba FM, recently announced that his radio station 102.3 Max FM Lagos has now exceeded 2 million listeners per day, according to the latest official AMPS radio ratings for March 2021. The radio station had Andrew Allon in less than four years on air, performed beyond industry expectations with significant year-on-year -year growth now ranking as the fifth largest station of 40 in the commercial capital. Similarly, Max FM Abuja is powering ahead of its competitors with a very impressive market share. Foremost dairy company, Fresland Kapina, Wamco Nigeria PLC, has reported a turnover of 199.5 billion naira in 2020. According to information obtained from the company's 48th annual general meeting, the commercial and financial performance of the year showed considerable improvement compared to the previous year, despite the challenges presented by the pandemic. Following its expansion drive, Friendsland Kapina Wamco acquired Nutrisima factory in Ikorodu during the year under review. The acquisition underlines the Darius company's continued commitment to contribute to the development of the Nigerian Darius sector and satisfy the need for additional production capacity for it to meet the growing consumer demand for locally produced dairy. Well, that was brand news on Marketing Edge on TV, brand and focus after this break. Yeah. 
from as low as 50 Naira for one hour. Simply dial star triple seven hash. This may perhaps be one of the most challenging moments for those involved in the business of brand management and in the management of brand business in the country. Reasons for this is not unconnected with the myriads of challenges confronting players and gladiators in the Nigerian marketing and advertising ecosystem. Indeed, almost on a daily basis, the sector continues to witness critical changes that impact on the soul of the industry as players grapple with the reality of post-COVID-19 global pandemic and the negative fallouts that have almost rendered the micro and macro economics comatose. As if these were not enough, regulatory agencies of the federal government appear to be unhelpful about the challenges confronting the sector. While advertisers and service providers in the integrated marketing communications industry are made to pay multiple taxations, they equally face the challenge of hostile business environment. The situation has not been helped in the least, neither by the regulatory agencies of government, which keep shunning out rules and regulations capable of further suffocating the industry and the players. A major case in point was the litany of rules and regulation reeled out recently by the Honorable Minister of Information and Culture, Alajila Mohamed, in the guise of a reverse code of National Broadcasting Commission, NBC. Topmost amongst the pronouncements are payment of fine for advertisement placed on foreign-owned media channels and production of content abroad by advertisers. Nigerian brands that run adverts during foreign marches must compulsorily advertised during Nigerian Premier Football League games. The minister also stated that brands that produce their advertising materials abroad will pay a fine of 100,000 Naira each time such adverts are run on local media stations, adding that advertising materials promoting Nigerian brands must be directed and authored by Nigerians locally. For more objective observers of the Nigerian marketing and advertising landscape, the pronouncements by the Honorable Minister, to say the least, are stifling and cumbersome for the growth and development of an industry which contributes about 5% to the nation's gross domestic product GDP. The ministry and the communication industry in Nigeria, we must admit, can benefit more from working together and in addressing key issues concerning the development of marketing, advertising, and sponsorship in Nigeria when the capabilities and expertise of the players are leveraged. This will be more productive and mutually beneficial than playing the big boss of the industry.
Well, that was Branding Focus on Marketing Edge on TV. Next is Industry Conversation, where we have one-on-one -on -one interactions with distinguished personalities who have made tremendous impact in the field of marketing, advertising, and communication. Well, today on Industry Conversation, we'll be speaking with the Commercial Director of TVC Communication. He will be speaking on TVC Communication as a brand and also bearing his thoughts on various issues affecting the industry. Well, Industry Conversation comes to you after this break. Size. Find it with the new Etel data plans. Dial star 141 hash now to get the plan that suits you. Airtel, the smartphone network. there and welcome to industry conversation a segment on marketing edge on tv where we have one-on-one -on -one interactions with top and high-ranking personalities who have distinctive impact in the business of brand management and in the management of brand business through effective communication advertising and marketing today on industry conversation we have with us commercial director of TVC Communications, Ronan Redmond. So pleased to have you with us on Industry Conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, the conversation has been about 102.3 FM, you know, recording over 2 million you know, listeners per day. I think that is remarkable. Can you tell us how you were able to achieve such a great feat? Yeah, well, look, thank you very much for bringing it up. It's, it's a fantastic milestone for TVC Communications that over 2 million listeners every single day are listening to Max FM. Max FM is only four, four years old. So that's in a, and it operates in Lagos and Abuja, but in Lagos alone, there are 40 radio stations. So it's, it's got huge competition out there, mm -hmm. reaching 2 million listeners every day, ranked num number five. How we got there was, like, like everything else, through an awful lot of hard work, a really dedicated team working on Max, great OAPs. But I, if I said in terms of marketing and what we do, we offer every day, we offer consistent product, which is the best music, best hit music for Lagos, uh, so that listeners know every time they tune into Max, that's all they're going to get is simply hit music with the best talk, and we've got some of the best OAPs. So it's a consistent product offering, consumers used to it, and they're now voting with their dials and they're listening in droves, as you say, two million every day. Every day, that is remarkable. Yeah. Now, the, the, you know, the year 2020 for many, you know, who describe the year 2020 as a devastating year for most businesses. Uh, business owners had to, you know, find a way to survive the turbulent times, you know, occasioned by the pandemic. What would be your assessment of the market realities post-COVID-19, seeing that there, there is an introduction of vaccines and 
inoculation of citizens and also we're recording a decline in confirmed cases of COVID-19. Yeah, which is all really positive and I think uh, a lot of credit needs to go to the federal government, the Lagos state government in terms of the, how, how quick they have rolled out vaccines compared to what's happening in markets like Europe where it's, it's still quite slow. What's happening in our industry is it was devastating last year. Of course it was. Um, uh, COVID meant there was shut down. So we had Lagos shut down for a couple of months. That effectively meant that we weren't able to sell advertising for nearly 15, 20 percent of the year. So that had a huge negative impact on our business. Then particular to TVC communications, of course, we were impacted in October with the devastating uh, effect of NSARS. So that in itself was, a, again, devastating for, for our business. But thankfully, as you said, in 2021, there are, there are grounds for optimism. And we even ourselves are seeing a lot of uh, increase in advertising spends um, year on year, which is hugely, hugely positive. So I think there's, a, there's an air of, let's say, quiet optimism. I mean, we're still, we're still trying to figure out what the actual impact of last year was in terms of all our businesses. But I'm, I'm glad to report that we are, certainly at TBC Communications, we are seeing an upturn in business in 2021 over last year. That's impressive. Yeah. Now, we know that uh, 102.3 FM Lagos is organising a musical concert. Can you tell us the initiative, what prompted this initiative? Yeah, look, we, we are hugely excited about this. This is Max Live you're referring to on Sunday, the um, 16th of May. Max Live will air live from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Max Live is just going to be a super, super music event with the best artists. You know, we've got mm -hmm. some of the best talent lined up already. Um, it'll be available on radio, it'll be available on YouTube, and it'll be available on TVC Entertain on, on the entertainment channel. What it is really is it's our move as a business into the whole area of activation, activation through entertainment. It's something we would have wanted to do possibly in 2019, and we had plans for 2019, 2020, but obviously with COVID and no live events and the, the, the ban on gatherings, yeah, so we had to put everything to, to one side. This is our way of, I suppose, saying a huge thank you to all of our listeners and all of our viewers. Remember, every single day, we're talking about Max FM now, but we've got TVC News and we've got TVC Entertainment. Every single day, 14 million people watch and listen to our channels. Max Live is a free music event which all of those people can access. So first and foremost, it's, it's a big thank you to those. It's really important for us, though, as an entertainment channel, that we get close to our consumers, and our consumers love entertainment. So by us getting into this area is, I suppose, our opportunity to get in amongst where our consumers are, oh, our viewers you. and our listeners. Oh, so, so that's uh, more like telling us the reason for choosing entertainment, because that would be my next question. What do you think about the attraction of brands using entertainment you know, to foster their brand promotional messages. Yeah, well, look, we, we all we, we all want to talk to consumers. So, you know, we as a television and a radio company, we want to talk to, I suppose, uh, viewers and listeners. But advertisers want to talk to those same people as well. So us getting into this space allows brands associate themselves with, the, with the, the likes of Max Live. And we're very fortunate um, on Max Live. We've two big headline brands. We've got, we've got um, Lush Hair um, are, are sponsoring us uh, in particular. And we've also got um, Guinness sponsoring us. And we've got Munchet sponsoring us. So we've got some great sponsors. And why they are sponsoring us is they know it's going to be a fantastic event. They want to be associated with fantastic events because mm -hmm. they want their consumers to know that they are part and parcel of the, this event. So it's always really important for brands to get associated with media companies in around creating these great events because it leaves a lovely legacy effect for the, the viewer and the listener. Okay, so how would uh, brand owners and media Media, you know, relate in such a way that these becomes a win-win situation on both sides. Yeah, I, th I think what it is is, you know, we know at TBC Communications, we know who our viewers and our listeners are from a from from what they like in terms of entertainment. 
brands know who their customers are and they tend to be the same people. Okay. So if we collaborate with, um, with brands um, around events like this, we have a lot of information that we can share with the brands in terms of what our viewers and listeners want in terms of just general entertainment. But the brands can share a lot of information with us as well in terms of what the likes of those audience are. So we can collaborate around intelligence first and foremost, but then we can collaborate uh, around just in terms of joint investment, which is, but you've already seen it. You know, we are not, we're not the first in this market. You know, we're, certainly we're getting in and Max Live is going to be a huge event, but you already see it with Big Brother Niger. You see all the brand engagement there. You see it with Love Island is going to happen. You see it with Nigerian Idol. You see all the brands coming in there. There's already great joint partnership going on, but this, why I'm so excited about this, is this is our first foray into, mm -hmm. di into mm -hmm. this area. Mm -hmm. And to get all of those um, brands coming on board, uh, Fearless was the one I hadn't, didn't mention earlier, to get all of those brands coming on board is a huge testament to they know we can put on a great event and they know we can connect with all of these consumers. Okay. So the 102.3 concert, music concert that will be coming up on Sunday, you said. Yeah. How would this, you know, fit into the vision and mission of 102? Point three FM and of course TVC Communications. Well, first and foremost on Mac, on Max FM, what it does is it gets Max into a space now where people see it as a real entertainment channel because it's putting on entertainment events. It gets our OAPs and our OAPs will be presenting the event. It gets our OAPs in front of their listeners as well. So you know with radio, often one of the great difficulties with radio is it's an audio, it's not a visual. Mm -hmm. um, this allows us to be audio and visual. So it allows people to see their favourite OAPs okay. because mm -hmm. it's going out mm -hmm. on TV, it's going out on YouTube. So for us, uh, for Max, it's getting us in amongst our audience. And as I said, it's a big thank you. It's free of charge. So mm -hmm. it's a big thank you to our audience. But for us as a company, for TVC Communications, you will see a lot more initiatives like this for our television channels, be it tel TVC Entertainment. There's nothing stopping us organising economic summits for TVC News as live events, etc. So this is the start of what I think is going to be a really exciting activation chapter for TVC Communications. Okay, so what is the competitive edge of 102.3 FM? You know, what sets it apart? What is that distinguishing, you know, thing that sets it apart in the midst of all yeah, the Yeah, I think, I think it goes back to what we said at the outset. I said, look, first and foremost, you know as a marketeer, your product offer has to be quality. Um, in, our, in, in our instance, our product quality, our, our, our product offer is hit music for Lagos. What does that mean? It means we only play, 80% of our output every day is the best Nigerian music. That's first okay. and foremost. Okay. The other 20% is the best international music. Okay. So whether you're on your way to work or whether you're at, at home in Lagos and you're a listener to Max, you know every time you tune in, you're going to hear the best music. Then we lay that down on top of the best OAP. So you know it's going to be Mark and Debbie in the morning and that's mm -hmm. a fantastic show. You know it's going to be Wally Popopo -po -po in the afternoon or it's going to be Modia in the evenings with sport. But it's consistent. Every single day you tune in, that's what you get. And then more recently, nobody else is doing this, we have become the home of the big uh, promotions, the big giveaways. Max Millions, we launched Max Millions into this market where again our listeners simply by listening and phoning in have the opportunity opportunity to win a million naira in Max Millions. So now mm. people know that when I tune in, I get the best music, mm -hmm. I get the best talk, and I have the opportunity to win the best prizes. That, I believe, is what is our unique selling point for okay. Max in what is a very competitive radio market. Mm. So how would you assess a marketing edge on TV as an industry-based television initiative? Well, look, I, I'm going to be really, really biased, um, <laughs> not only because I'm, <laughs> I'm on the show today, but, but it's a hugely important conduit um, to what we're trying to do. Most of my time is focused on TVC communications, but I, as a commercial person, know that if I really want to grow our revenue, I have to try and, and work with the industry stakeholders to try and grow the mm. industry and try mm. and grow the spend. And we spoke about a lot of that going forward. Sometimes the communications industry and the advertising industry is the very worst industry at telling people 
what's happening in it, how good it is, the okay. value it can add. Okay. I've always felt we needed a programme um, to air on a channel such as of ours, which would promote the marketing sector and the advertising and media sector in, in the, because prior to Marketing Edge on TV, there was no such program. So when I spoke to John and the team um, at Marketing Edge and you put that idea, I said we would support it with the airtime uh, and the facilities, et cetera, as we did in the first few years. But that program has gone from strength to strength. You get all the industry leaders. It's a way and a means of people in our industry um, staying informed. But what it does, which I believe is the most important thing, is beyond advertising and media, it talks directly to the brands and the advertisers and it shows them the importance and the value that our industry can add. And that will bring further investment and it allows us to invest in more people, more tech, uh, more research, etc. And that ultimately will grow the business. So what the job Marketing Edge on TV do, is doing is a fantastic job to profile the industry and ultimately help us all grow the industry. Thank you very much for that impressive you know, statement about Marketing Edge on TV. But before we go, I'd like you to say a final word about the musical concert of 102.3 Max FM. Yeah, it's, look, it, <clears throat> it may seem... Um, it may seem odd that we, we're so excited, but we are really very, very excited. Given everything we've done over the last four years, why are we so excited um, about a music concert? One is because we've had a year and a half of tough, tough environment, globally with COVID and then NSARS with us. This is the first real opportunity where we feel we can really put smiles on everybody's face. So Max Live is going to first and foremost do that. As a business, we're massively excited um, simply because we think this is the start of something really special. And before I go, I just want to give a big shout out to Fearless, Lush Hair, Guinness and Munchet, who have come on board as sponsors and they're just brilliant, brilliant partners. And they are going to help us create a fantastic event. Indeed, uh, 102.3 FM, Max FM, the concert, the music concert is going to be one to be remembered for a very long time. We have been speaking to the commercial director of TVC Communications, Ronan Redmond. And um, of course, he's a communication expert who has spanned many years. He has been in the industry for many years, been in international media, advertising and marketing. He has also worked for a number of broadcasters, both TV and radio, holding commercial portfolios uh, with role having always been about helping media companies to maximize their commercial revenues through selling, advertising, sponsorship, promotion, and all other revenue opportunities. It's very, very um, awesome to have you on Industry Thank Conversation you. today. Thank you very much for sparing us some time to speak with us. And yes, for bringing some excitement to the people through the music and concert. Well, it has been an exciting time on Industry Conversation where we've been speaking to, as I've told you, the commercial director of TVC Communications. Uh, do well to join us for another interesting and insightful time on Marketing Edge on TV. I'm Ogali Mafuru.